The first thing that you want to know how to do on your HP Prime calculator is basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The buttons used for those operations will always be in the right hand corner of your calculator. So if you want to add two numbers, input them, press the enter key, and there you go. However, take note when you're using the division key, it's going to appear in fraction form. If you would like the answer to your fraction to not be in decimal form, first press the CAS key in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It'll be opposite to your home key. So if we have six over nine, and we press enter, it will simplify that fraction for you rather than giving you a decimal as your answer. Going back to the home, instead of pressing delete, you can also press shift and up here in the top of right, escape to completely clear your screen. On the left-hand side of your calculator, you'll notice a little x squared and an x to the power of y. We're going to use these two for um, exponents. So if you'd like to square your number, first type in what number you'd like to be squared. Let's start with 5. I go over here to the x. Notice when I click it, it brings my 5 and it's raising it to a power. Press enter and it will square that number. If you want to raise it to a higher power or to an expression, what you will need to do is you will need to first type in your number, and then right above the x squared, there's an x to the power of y. Click that one. It'll give you a little square up here, and this indicates it's ready for you to plug in a number. So let's say five cubed. I press enter, and it should give you that number cubed. To do radicals, we're going to use the exact two same buttons. However, what we'll have to do is we're going to press the shift key first, because if you notice, those buttons are in blue. And in order to use any of the button functions that are in blue, you first must must push the shift key. So I'm going to start by finding the square root of 4. So I put shift, I click the square root button, and then I entered my number. If you'd like to find um, a root that is higher than 2, do the exact same thing. Push your shift the one right above it. And now notice we have two squares here. So I'm going to take the cubed root, use this um, pad up here to move your cursor over. So now that it's in the little house, and we're going to press enter, and it'll give you the um, whatever root that you choose. If <clears throat> You do not want your answer, oops. If you do not want your answer in decimal form like this, you can go ahead and go back to the cast mode. And it'll simplify your answer and give it to you in terms of radicals. Lastly, we're going to be um, plotting some points. So we're going to mainly be using these three right here. Let's clear out the home just to keep everything neat. So we're going to start in the um, by using the key that says S Y M B. Oops, I got some stuff on here already. Okay, so we're going to be starting here. So you see where it says enter function. Make sure that this is selected. 
and let's start with a linear function. So two, let's use the x up here at the top that they give you, x minus five. Press OK or Enter. You know that it's inputted when there is that little checkbox right there. And so once it's ready to go, you're going to click the plot key that's right under the SYMB. And it's going to plot your point there for you. It's going to show you where your point goes for the y-axis as well. If you'd like to see the table of values for your graph, you're going to click the NUM, and it'll show you all the um, X and Y values. If you would like to graph a quadratic function, start with the same thing that you did before. So we'll go 2x. We want to make sure that this x is squared. So we're going to go down to the, um, the exponent button. Minus 5. OK. And notice how this is checked. I'm going to click plot. And now I have two graphs on my screen. If you want to just have one up here, go back to symbol and uncheck the, um, the one at the top. All right, lastly, we'll go back to the home screen. If you want just a quick um, sketch of your graph, Go to the CAS, let's clear that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the toolbox. Once you click the toolbox, um, you're going to also click the CAS tab. You can push that with your finger, oops. And then you're going to use this pad here to scroll down to plot. Push the right side. See where it says function? Okay. Now it says plot function or plot func. <laughs> um, and let's input a linear function. So, oops. Two. And then up here, right here, where it says the x, t, you're going to use this for x. So 2x minus 5, enter, and it's going to give you a tiny little sketch of what your graph would look like. All right, that's it for today's tutorial.